the things back. Bean, you ready to see the new improvements? Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry for the long wait in between videos. I have been sick all week. You may still be able to hear it. I've been able to record any voiceover, so YouTube videos just haven't been able to happen for the last few days. But we're here now. I'm on the mend. The videos are cooking again, so it's time to get back into the game. First, a disclaimer though. I just wanted to point out that I'm quite new at content creation on YouTube. This is actually my first real video with B-roll, voiceover, and traditional editing. Aside from edited and re-uploaded Twitch clips, this will be the first YouTube series that I've made that will hopefully set the stage for many more in the future. My point is that I'm learning. The format and quality will be all over the place for a while as I'm in the process of figuring out what works and what doesn't. In time, changes will level out and become a consistent machine churning out content. So bear with me as we take this journey one step at a time. The community and I are growing together. Anyway, video games. So we're still at the beginning of this whole charade, but that's okay because I've been live streaming a bit in the meantime, and we actually have quite a bit to catch up on. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh yeah, the power. We left off last, the power was doing its thing. A lot of nothing as you can see we really don't have a lot down yet no splitters or mergers so nothing's even close to balance one miner into one smelter set up an iron and copper iron's making either plates or rods depending on what you set it to copper is just wire limestone's up there doing concrete we got to deal with power first though got to perform some fix it approved grass touching okay normally i would love to set this up as biomass but we have nothing so going in as grass for now Live. We gotta get scaling up right away because this is just sad. First thing that we gotta get is logistics tier one. We need those splitters and mergers. Go for that. 150 plates, 150 iron rods. We don't have that, of course. These will set to iron rods. Do we have, why is there not a storage here? There needs to be one. Oh, it's because we have no plates. Set this to plates. Run over here and get what wire we have. Blech. Not enough. All right. Eight. Ten. Back to rods. And yeah, we're going to have to help this along with some manual labor. All right. After a little bit of waiting, we have everything that we need. We can turn this in. Away. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. The sea hmm. is made of billions of faces, what? each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. I find it hard to focus on my duties with that mental image data. That's not helpful. All right, the next thing that we need to get is obstacle clearing because the chainsaw is going to help us gather wood from the trees, which is going to be a lot better than the grass. The solid biofuel is going to be our go-to fuel until we get coal. So we'll select this now, but we have to wait for the pod to return. But now we have access to splitters. First thing that can happen here is we can work on this iron thing here. We can put this into a splitter. Comes out at 120, but it's bottlenecked by the belt at 60. So this is going to come out in two 30 belts. Melters are 30 in, 30 out. Oh no, the power's out again. Man. Try to get biomass up and running. Structure. So this will turn the ore into ingots, like so. 30 and 30 out. We will be plates. 20. Oh, no, missing cable. Craft some real quick. It'll be fine. No one will know. Ugh.
will be rods. We'll put these in storage. Oh, I need more plates. I need 13 of them. One there. One there. Oh, yeah, because that makes sense. Because I used all my iron plates for the storage, and I don't have any for... We'll be done with this in time. Don't worry. There, there's a bunch. Valid shape. You said you were lined up. You lie? Oh, it's rotated somehow. I don't know how. There we go. That's weird. Hello? What? Click into the thing. Okay, there we go. Plates and rods. We can put a third one. And this one will just be screws and we'll just kind of like manually load it. I don't know if that, if these biomass things are going to be enough. We to make our own. We're going to make another one. But yeah, rods. I kind of threw them away in an example. Make a point. These are 20, I believe. These put out 20, 20, 40. Okay, so one biomass burner is, is enough. I'll add that to our to-do list and grab what we need. All right, got what we need. All full. Oh, we need more wire. Can't just make it, can I? I don't have any ingots. I do. Those are on the network. No fuel, no fuel, no fuel. You need to make it into biomass and not put regular leaves in there. There we go. Nice. Load these up with our new biomass. Get on. Away we go. Using 70. Makes sense. Using not 70. These aren't on though. Makes sense. Why are we doubled up right here? On. Live. What? Can I? Oh, I'm not paying attention. No cable. Uh. Both. Yeah. Go. Yeah. My God, now I'm missing regular wire. That's the way the beginning of the game is. It's like you run out of stuff, and then you need you run back and get more stuff, and you run out a slightly slower every time you run back. So if you like building a house and you can only carry one nail you use that nail and you have to go back and get two nails eventually you can go back and get a bag of nails make some screws as are really slow yep. okay so we need 500 screws so many 40 per minute though we're just gonna manually load this thing for now run up here and get some concrete gonna need it that's, uh, that is the concrete that we need and the cable run around, run over here, run over there. 56 cable, we'll just make the whole hundred, I guess. All right. And after more manual labor and waiting for machines, we have everything that we need to turn in the next milestone. Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Inspirational note, will you be the Fixit employee of the month? I will be if you construct, automate, explore and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. This all? isn't just fun. It's contractually mandated. Fun, fun, fun. That's the best sort. Contractually obligated fun. More inventory slots. Nice. Now we've got a workshop. We had to workshop before. We need iron rods. Save me factory. More. More. Chainsaw. Need more screws. Of course we need more screws. Enough. More. Okay, that's enough. Chainsaw. 
Can it use wood as fuel? Some biomass, solid biofuel. There it goes. Get this. Wait, no, don't get it out of there. Leave it there. We're gonna run over here and get these trees. Oh, yes. Chainsaw to a bush. Clear all of this. Bring it back. Take that fern. Get chainsaw to a fern. Yeah, now we can craft up solid, solid biofuel and all that. We have quite a bit of stuff to work with that we can turn into solid biofuel to work with. But I think that it's time. I have a thing. Oh, part assembly. Not quite. Not quite. Base building. Yeah, let's do base building now. We already have the stuff for that. Let's go grab the stuff that we need real quick. Is that enough? No. Rods are slow. Ugh. That needs to be. I just realized that that's not splitters or anything over there. The thing is, this is the only thing that we just now set up. So I think it's going to be grab this. Ah, and a hundred. OK, so there's those. That's base building. We can build platforms, foundations rather. Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planetfall, hmm? be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. That seemed kind of random. Okay. But now we have foundations. Hey. Awesome. We also have a lookout tower, which I need rods for. Just down over here, we can take a look at the area. Down straight, maybe. Whoa. Okay. So we got a little flat zone here. We got one, two, three, four pure iron nodes, one pure limestone node, and there's actually two copper nodes over there. There is some quartz down that way, some more limestone and coal over around the corner here, as well as a Ethereum node over there that's stuck underneath the rock. We'll have to get uh, Noblest for. But I think it's time to do a uh, quick jump through time and get this base kind of leveled up. Welcome back, freighter. Yep, all right, build time. All right, so after a bit of building, this is where we're sitting now. We got one miner on one node split two ways, doing two constructors doing rods and two constructors doing rods into screws. Those are being stored over there. The concrete or the limestone is run down here and the concrete is being made right here and stored. There's another miner over here, split two ways. This one is just plates. And we've got biomass burners over here now with two inputs with one for leaves and one for wood. Turn. So I was turning those into, into biomass and then they flip them around into solid biomass and into a manifold that goes into five burners. Pretty basic. Just the also, oh, the uh, copper back there. There's one wire line and one wire into cable line. That's where we're sitting right now. We're getting started on that, though, with the assemblers and all that. I do want to get the MAM down. I got field research out of the way. The MAM unlocked, but I haven't put it down yet. Oh, you need stuff. Not stuff, not enough stuff. 45 wire. Up, oh, there we go. Bam. There it is. First thing that I want to get is turn this power slug in that was over there on the hill. This semi-slug, now dubbed power slug, is early in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity, giving it its blue color. Power slugs are capable of extracting latent energy from their surroundings, including through a form of photosynthesis, and preserve it in their porous semi-crystalline shell over their lifetime. 
This explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location. Crystal skin. Wow. This is what we're after right now, the overclock production. This allows us to over and underclock machines, which allows us to balance things a whole lot more. But we need another slug. Definitely. I got some space. All right, this shouldn't be too difficult. I need to go find another slug. There should be one somewhere. Could be anywhere. Can't be that difficult to find a slug. There's an am aminol. I can hear one. It's actually important that we kill pretty much everything that we find because the alien DNA tubes are worth quite a lot uh, of tickets. I get those moving. I can hear you. Oh, there's a quartz. What? Oh, there's. Unknown crystalline mineral collected. This mineral is composed of the same chemical elements as quartz and may yield similar industrial functions. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Great, we'll call it quartz. There's the crash site. I already looted it. Oh, there's more quartz. Grab it. Ah. Plump, plump. Looking for a slug. I know where a few are. I can't remember exactly where that spot is in relation to me. Or those spots, rather. There's one. Is it down here? Is it up there? Oh, I, can, I can see it in my head, but I don't know where it is. There. That. That's what I'm thinking of. It's right there. There's our blue friend. No, don't pick him yet. He's not ripe. Just a little raw slug. Eminol. Oh, he charged me. Punch him. Yes. I can't get it. Oh, you're gonna get hit, Bean. It's actually not over here. It's over. What? what? Really? I'm not anywhere near you anymore. We're closer now. Over here, maybe. Are you serious? Are you still chasing me? Why? Go away. I'm, I'm not interested in fighting you at all. Not even anywhere near where you live. Get him. Get him. If you're not going to play fair, you're going to follow me forever, then I'm not going to play fair. Uh, I get him now. I don't have anything to eat. You got me trapped up here, jerk. Being help. Stupid zapper. This is gonna take forever. He's got so much health. Run away. Yes. Run away. Can he get me? No. I got him. Finally. Good riddance. You should have just stayed home. There it is right there. That's the one. Get rid of these guys. I don't have any health. Oh, there's a criterion. Can you get me up here? Head back home. I do want to fight those guys and I do want to loot them for alien DNA, but this stupid Xeno Zapper is really only useful defensively. It's not something you go charging after other things with. Go away. Duped. Okay, so we got our power slugs now. And we can go to power slugs and research. No, we need to get the thing. Get the power shard. We had to waste only one. The uh, plates now. And plates, power slugs, start research. Overclocking development completed. Power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed. Underclocking is also possible. Note, power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially. Hmm, good to know. Go ahead and get a uh, hog research as well. The remains researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy tailed hog. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidae family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Huh. Next we'll grab quartz. The crystalline mineral was a previously unknown variation of quartz, with uniquely large and flawless crystals, normally only found in synthetic quartz. 
The industrial application of this mineral will follow that of its synthetic counterpart, specifically in communication and exploration technologies. Cool. So the next thing that I want to do is part assembly. This gets us assemblers that allows us to make modular frames and rotors as well as reinforced iron plates. We want that next. We have some of it, almost all of it. More stuff. Need everything. Might as well. Those. These. All right. Got what we need. Button. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, mm -hmm. humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fix-It cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Need rotors to make an assembler. How many? Four. Okay, that's reasonable. The assembler. Behold. Big boy. We want to start making reinforced iron plates and rotors right away. These two. I'll probably just throw together some kind of Jimmy rig setup that's using what we already have laying here. I'll just pull out of this and pull out of that over there and just make some. It's not going to be ideal. Look out, tower. Up. All right. Well, I'm going to put an assembler down, probably a couple of them, and get rotors and plates going, and pick back this pick this back up when that project is finished. Put the things back. Bean. You ready to see the new improvements? All right. So we got assemblers in here now. Really basic. I don't even think that anything is balanced. So the screws, we've got three 40 outs combining to a 120 belt and then a 120 belt out. So it's just, there's nothing being stored as long as this is running, but it's not running out either. And it, it just goes 60 over there. And I think, yeah, whatever's left is just over here. So it's just not, it's not perfectly balanced, but it does just kind of, kind of work. Plates and rods. I can still access some. It's splitting them in half right here. So some of it's going over there into the assembler and some of it's staying here. So I can still access screws and plates when I need them. This isn't an ideal situation, but it's working for us for now. And then finally, Logistics Mark II, which will give us the Mark II conveyor belts. Stuff in. Oh, of course. Up. Milestone reached. Fix it would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. Stay efficient. Don't the disappoint list? Fix it. Also, I don't know if she's talking about. It. You can't recreationally use lifts. They don't. You can't interact with them. So I don't. I don't know how that's done. There's a way that you could ride lifts. That would be amazing, but you cannot. Also, I'm sure you noticed that I'm flying. I'm recording this in two parts. So I do the, the my my current file that I that I play live on Twitch. And then I come back to a previous save and I'll record things and voice over. So when I'm coming back to these previous saves, I'm loading them with the advanced game settings, which gives me the ability to fly. But that is not mean that I'm using these settings when playing the actual live game. But on Twitch, it's just the normal game. I want the achievements. So I know we just booped through time a bit and not a lot has happened, but I'm going to try and move this along a little bit to try and catch up to the live stream content. So for the early game, there's probably going to be a lot of those time jumps as I skip through some of the builds. If you want to see these builds in action, you can check out my live stream on Twitch. I stream every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to go back to building and I'll check back in when there's something worth showing. Weird. All right. We got the start of our little base here. I've used the surfaces of these cliff faces as a kind of general area to start with for the, for the base. 
of the base, the, the the ground floor, first floor, whatever. This would be underneath the whole thing. So it'd be we start here and then build up. I've just thrown down a whole bunch of four meter platforms. We've already moved the copper production up in order to make use of the uh, the new 120 belts. Got Mark II's going in in places here and there. Copper's coming in here, splitting two ways, going into these smelters, 30 in, 30 out. Splitting two ways again, 15 in, 30 out. These four 30s are then joining together into a full 120 belt of wire, which will fill that up pretty quick. The same deal is going on over here, except for that instead of doing combining the wire into a uh, 120 belt, they're each being put into 60 in structures to make 30 out cable, which are combining to make a 60 line of cable. We've got 120 line of wire, 160 line of cable. Our old base is still sitting down here waiting to get moved up. I have moved a couple things. I put a splitter on this and I'm now sharing the rotor and reinforced iron plate production with uh, with storage instead of having it through it now just shares it so once this fills up it'll work it'll all go over here same with uh with plates it's the same as it was before but now screws is, are sharing the same thing i added a couple more burners to the biomass setup now we're using 210 for generating 210. the iron is running on 120 mark ii belts and on a manifold and, and only on one miner instead of two but yeah just building nothing has happened in the MAM or in the hub, everything is still locked out waiting for us to complete the first phase or start the first phase. We have to build the space elevator. So get back to building and then check back in again. And just like that, the factory be growing, beans be working. We're quickly starting to move up in the world. I put a miner on this other limestone known behind the base. Again, I'm sorry. I know that this is weird. We're jumping through a lot because we're trying to catch up with the live stream. So the next thing that had to be upgraded was the power. There's a platform down here now that's been expanded across the entire width of the floor. The floor. And we're up to 10 biomass burners now with a full fleet of beans. Got all the iron nodes being mined and belted over here up this vertical tower opposed to a horizontal tower both limestone lines are hard at work making lots of concrete the new 120 belts allow us to bring in quite a bit more material so we got lots more plates and lots more rods being made at the same time for the time being i'm just manually loading assemblers with the stuff being made here to make the smart plating and we're pretty much there perfect timing now that we got more of a factory on the way it's time to build the space elevator where is it give me yes Put it there. Oh. So cool. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Huh? Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore and exploit. It is time to be honest, this project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Oh? Earth is in peril and only Fixit pioneers offer hope for survival. Fixit is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fixit down. We gotta send parts of space to build the thing in space so we can save the people. Alright, so let's grab those. Turn them in to complete phase one.
Okay. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are, automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Yay. Completing Phase 2 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. All right. Send it away. Whoa. The clouds. Phase one of project assembly completed. This is only the Whoa. beginning of project assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. Reminder, not only is fix it saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. It is statistically likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. That's the reason Continue we're here. The work for their sake. Continue the work for Fix It. It is time to start the work on Phase 2 of Project Assembly. So it is. So begins Phase 2, ends Episode 2. Trust me, guys, the big stuff is coming. I intend to beat this game and get all the way through the late game and everything. There's huge projects ahead of us. But to get there, we need to go through the early game stuff first. Next episode, I'd hope uh, we're going to get into coal power. I'd hope we will move in onto coal power pretty soon uh, from this. We need to be done with biomass and on to bigger things sooner rather than later. And then we can move on to even bigger things. So until next time, guys, keep those factories growing and remember to stay effective. We're going to send parts of space to build the thing in space so we can save the people. All right. <laughs>